Welcome to Excel Magic Trick 877. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. In this video, we have some managers and some salespeople, and we need to be able to just click on a drop down, select Manager Sam, see the sales rep, and have all of the records extracted from this sheet over here. So this is uh, a data extraction with OR criteria. If we look over on the data sheet, we're, at, we're going to be asking the question, let's see, what is it? It's Tom, Sue, Tara. So is this equal to Tom, Sue, or Tara? No, no, no. Uh, there's um, one. There's one. So we need to construct a formula that will, once it finds a Tara, a Tom, or the, the other sales rep, it'll extract that record. And, of course, when we change the manager's name, boom, the criteria and the records need to update. We're going to start over here. First, we'll do data validation here. I have the manager's names right off to the side here. Alt-D-L, not any value. So I'm going to tab. I want to get the drop down. So I hit L, which is list, tab, and then I highlight. So all in motion, it's Alt-D-L, tab, L, tab, and then highlight the names. Click OK. All right, so then I select Dave. Now I want to create a formula that will extract the names here. I'm going to use index, and we're going to use this as an, a lookup function. I want to look up these names. I'm going to hit F4, so when I copy it down, it's locked. Comma and the row number. We're going to have to build. We have more than one row number as we go down. Uh, we need to extract for Dave this one row, row one, two, three. So we're going to, you in uh, 2007 and earlier, we'd use the small function and then use Control Shift Enter to enter the array. But we can use the aggregate. It's a great new function in 2010. It allows us to select, oh, the small, number 15. This aggregate will do the same thing as the small, but it will not require Control Shift Enter comma. It's only in 2010, though. Uh, we want to ignore error values, so I'm going to select 6, comma, and then here's our array. Now we need row numbers, but only certain row numbers. So I'm going to start off this by open parentheses and then use the row function, the row of all these. And this will actually be a nice uh, small version of what we're going to do over here, right? And then I'm going to hit F4. Now that will give me two, three, four, and that's not what I want. I want one, two, three. So I'm going to subtract row of that F4. That'll give me two minus two, so I add one back in. Now that'll give me the rows, and I have to put them in parentheses, and I'm going to divide by open parentheses, and I need some criteria. So I'm going to say all of these F4, anytime that's equal to Dave, and then F4. This will give me. Um, trues wherever Dave is and zero, falses, which will be zeros, that will get divided by zero errors, but the six will get rid of them. This, so if I, okay, so if I highlight this right here and hit F9, oh, there it is. It's a bunch of divide by zeros and the row numbers. The 15 is the small function, so as we copy it down, it'll extract the first uh, row number, second row, third row, etc. Control Z. As the small goes down, I mean, there's the array, so comma, and as the small don't goes down, we need one, two, three. So I'm going to use rows, and I'm sitting in B13, so B dollar sign 13 colon B13. That'll give me one, two, three as I copy down. So there is our aggregate. I close parentheses. There is our row number. The small inside the aggregate gives us our row number, a different one as we copy down. Control Enter. I didn't Control Shift Enter. Now we'll get a num error, but no problem. Now we'll use the 2007 function if error. We'll say there's the value, comma, and if there's an error, just show nothing. Double quote, double quote, close parentheses. No control shift enter there. All right. Now, once we have that, this is or criteria. Remember, oh, OK, so three different criteria. And the key to or is that, in this case, we're never going to have more than one true, because we're asking, is this salesperson here 
Bob or Mike or Pete. Nevertheless, we're going to have to um, also incorporate all of these just in case, for example, Julia has fewer, right? So we don't know how many there are. You know, we could make this table uh, uh, a table feature with Control T, and then as we added new managers or sales rep, it would uh, dynamically update. But nevertheless, we want to connect all of these to our formula over here. All right, you ready? index. Now the array, I'm going to click over on the data sheet and get the first column, control shift down arrow, F4, F4. I hit it twice. Now I'm going to hit comma 2, close parenthesis, just to get the formula back over on this sheet and take a look at it. I didn't really want that. Okay, now it's locked with the row, so as we copy it down, it's on the A column, but as we move this way, it'll go to the B, which is salesperson, and then C, which is manager, etc. All right, row number, same thing. We're going to use aggregate. All right, and we're going to use 15, comma, 6, comma, and now we're going to do the same construction or similar, but with row. Now I'm going to copy this so I don't have to go over there and get it. That's the range over there. That'll give me all the rows, right? Minus row control V and then I'm going to backspace because I just want the first one at the top of that column. Now these they, these could be locked. We could have them locked all the way. It'll move as we go over, which is fine because it's the exact same dimension as the table over there. So that'll work. This gives me 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and I want 1, 2, 3, 4, so I have to add one back in. Now for the array part here, just like over here, I want parentheses around it. All right, so all those operations happen inside there. And then I'm going to divide by. Same thing as we did over there, except for this one is going to be a bunch of ors. Um, we have, in essence, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven criteria. So I need to go over and get the B column. So I'm going to go get the B column over here. Oops. This is the sales rep. Control Shift down arrow F4. Now I'm going to close parentheses. Close parentheses, comma one. Close close. I'm just going to hit enter just to get over here, and then backspace. All right. So I have this data, and I'm going to use this seven times. Copy. I'm going to say is that equal to this F4. Close parentheses. Now, this will give me a bunch of ones for Tom. And because it's or, and none of those cells can ever have a Tom and a Sue and a Tara in the, Tara in the same cell, we can simply add these arrays. So I'm going to go like this. Now, I'm going to copy this. And I didn't want to copy the inside. I'm going to copy this whole thing. Because all I have to change in it is the 13, the 14, the 15. So now I'm going to paste it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Copy this down here, backspace. Now I have a 13 there, so I'm going to change it to a 14. You could see the cell references start to emerge over here. 15, there it is. 16, 17, 18, 19. All right, so that's just a quick, easy way. And then I'm going to close parentheses. And when I close parentheses, that parentheses right up there should light up. So and it does. You know, sometimes when you have this many parentheses, you get in trouble. That's the array, comma, and we're going to do that same thing for the K rows. I'm sitting in D13, so D dollar sign 13 colon D13. That's the K. Close parentheses on the aggregate, which just is the small, which gives us the row number. Now we are going to copy it down, and we will get uh, an error down below when there's uh, we, we go too far, so I'm going to use if error again, just as we did a moment ago. And the cool thing about this big monster formula is I just hit, uh-oh. So I better go look at what I did here using the screen tip. So close parentheses on the K. There's the row number, so I close parentheses on that. The if error comma, and I get to that one, double quote, close parentheses. I'll try it again. OK, control enter. And now I already had that this formatted. I'm going to actually uh, drag this over and then point to the, because that's 
copied that format from there, and this actually had currency. So I'm going to point to this and say fill without formatting. And now I'm going to copy this all the way down. Further, you know, just far enough past where I would uh, the last record could possibly go. All right, so there we have it. If I change this to Julie, the criteria changes and the records change and the total. I actually just added that column up, right, and come over to Dave. So in essence, what we're doing is we're doing a manager salesperson report showing all the records and then the total at the top. All right, we use some fancy new functions, aggregate uh, in 2010 and if error, and we saw how to do or with a plus, or criteria with a plus. All right, see you next trick.